Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, that reseller guy. Back today with a little update on my collectibles booth. I get a request quite quite often to give an update on there on what's been selling and everything like that. So uh, first we're gonna slide over and uh, get into uh, the booth when I went out there and uh, show you what it looked like when I first got there. A lot of times it's a little bit messy. This time it wasn't too bad. And then what it looked like after I redid everything. I actually did this last week. I'm getting ready to go out there again today. So I'll show you a few items I'm gonna take out there after this little clip runs. It's only a few minutes. So. Uh, well, let's run through that and I'll come back and I'll talk to you a little more. All right, here it is. Here's the booth. Going to kind of give you just a full walk over. I am on Florida Ave in case you're ever there at the Brass Armadillo. There's a bunch of games and puzzles in here. I ran a little Christmas special with games and puzzles for like 10 and 7 bucks. Sold a few, but not as many as I would have liked. And this is uh, my booth before I do any cleanup whatsoever. Actually, it wasn't too bad this time when I went in there. Usually there's cards all over the place, a bunch of other people's inventory around, and uh, just stuff scattered throughout the booth. And I got to spend the first 10 minutes, or sometimes even a half an hour, cleaning up the booth, just getting it straight and ready for me to uh, start putting the new inventory in there. So there it was before, and I believe now I've already uh, taken everything out and put all the new inventory in and kind of re redid the booth got it ready to go i moved all the star wars items out here the star wars items have not been selling great for me recently so i figured i'd move all the pop figures out there and uh highlight them a little more to everybody walking by of course we got the comic books here comic books have been doing really well for me this year as a product that i added to the booth as well as video games i've started selling video games i've been selling a few of them every pay period so that's working out pretty good then i moved all of the other little miscellaneous toys over here do some little toy bags like this where I get a few miscellaneous toys in here. But one new thing that I'm trying to do now is get into action figures. And I'm putting the date of the figure, putting them individually bagged. I have a bunch more that are getting ready to go in there this week. But yeah, these are the toy bags I've done. These little Thomas trains. So trying to add a lot more fun inventory like that uh, that can perk up sales a little bit. Uh, but this back wall is, is my main problem in, in this uh, display case here. I don't do a ton of business in that section, and I feel like I have a lot of wasted space back there. So I do have a remodel coming soon. I have a bunch more of those little mini helmets, so I need to get some more of those little cases to get in there. You can see that I took some of the stuff off the shelf, added some new inventory there. And then we're straightened up here. I do like to do these little packs where uh, instead of pricing packs individually, I'll put three, four, five packs in a little bag and uh, sell them individually. I got some card supplies. And then you can see I got the cards section stocked up pretty good. Need to get some more in there. Uh, flip through here for you. Show you the kind of the better cards I put in there. And I say better, these are cards I probably sell from like three to $10 in that range. A lot of them will be like local players or just popular players like jersey cards, autographs, uh, stuff that I put into a special card holder, a little nicer card holders. I mean, those card holders new sell for, you know, two, three, four dollars a piece, but these ones were all used when I got them in collections. I do have some graded cards at back here. Flip to those super quick. I picked up a bunch of these little mini posters. I put those in there for like uh, two to three bucks a piece. And here's some little bulk boxes. This is something that I did recently. Uh, did like a hundred insert cards, baseball, football, basketball, put them in my own little box for 15 bucks. And uh, those have sold pretty well. I did it with rookie cards as well. The rookie cards uh, sold pretty quickly. Still have a bunch of those insert ones. And then here, just show you the rest of the stuff that's on these shelves. Filled them in pretty good. This back shelf is kind of a waste, as well as that corner back there. But again, like I said, I do have a remodel planned and uh, something that hopefully I can get done here in the next uh, month or two. Just scanning around, showing you the rest of the inventory. And I think we're getting ready to get to the end of this clip. That's it. All right, so yeah, let's talk about a few things out of the booth. What's been selling really good for me? And my main, my best seller is the sports cards in the sports collectible section. That's one little section. I'll show you a little picture. One little, one little section of that whole booth. So probably in that little five foot space at the most, I'm probably doing a third to a half of my business just in that section and the rest of the booth takes up the rest so uh, I'm trying to find more ways and even in that just that little section how can I even get more out of it because that's what's been doing good the individual sports cards for like a dollar and the stuff that's selling for two three five dollars as well so I'm trying to keep this business growing out there I want to do more this year than I did last year that's always the goal but how can I do that I feel like I'm doing really good out there so I got to find new and inventive ways to keep 
keep doing more. Uh, so yeah, that card section, I'm, I'm taking a bunch out there again today. Look, this is all cards that's going out there today. This stuff and this stuff. Most of that's all dollar cards. I got a few better things here and some more stuff for the little vintage card section as well. So every time I go out there, I have to take a hundred, a couple hundred new cards out there and refill the inventory because that stuff's been going really, 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 really good out there. So uh, that's the main thing. Uh, next, I talked about that uh, section where I'm doing the action figures. I'm trying to, to get into that a little more because I know there's a good collector base for action figures, especially the ones of Batman, Spider-Man, Venom, all those type of characters, all the Marvel greats. So uh, I've been trying to find those either in bulk lots at thrift stores. I actually bought one off of eBay and uh, I'm going to be putting those in there individually. I bought a bunch of individual little bags. I'll show you real quick. I got a slide over here. These right here. So yeah, I went and bought a bunch of these. I bought a thousand of them. Yeah, I bought a thousand just to get the right price of these. So action figures fit in there. You can get the smaller ones. You can get the six inch ones in there and still have room for your little price tag at the top. So these are going to work out really good for me when I'm doing those. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm again. Uh, so when I go out there today, I think I have another like 20 that I'm putting out there. So hopefully a couple of those that I put out there last week sold. Show me a little a promise that this is a good category to get into because I got a lot of wall space to use. And that's what I'm going to talk about. Number two is my remodel of this booth. It's been it's been long, long, long overdue. So uh, that back wall is really wasted space. So, so my plan, uh, I'll show up a picture here. There's a glass shelving in the middle. And that's kind of what I use for like my premium items to draw some people in there. Uh, but it takes up so much space. It stands out far from the wall and you can't do anything with the back corners too well. So I think what I'm gonna actually do is finally get rid of that glass shelving. I can probably sell it there. I bet there's another dealer that would like to use it in their booth. So once I clear that out, I'll put that in the middle of the booth and put like a $50 price tag and hopefully another vendor will come and pick that up and buy it. So uh, that is actually something that I did buy from a Goodwill. It's a really nice, actually meant, meant for like a stereo unit. And I forget the name brand, but the name brand is really good. If you look them up online, they're hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So I got several, I got like five or six years use out of it for like the $20 that I bought it for at the thrift store. So if I can sell it for 50, and I think it should, it's pretty nice uh, that, uh, what was I talking about? Uh, that I can sell that shelf and free up that back space. So what am I gonna do with that back wall? I wanna do pegboard back there. Yeah, I wanna be able to put up uh, these action figures and these other things that I'm doing and really maximize uh, my booth space back there. I think it will look really great when you walk by and you just see a big wall full of action figures, toys and games and other stuff like that. And it'll free up my other wall as well. I do also need to redo where I have the comic books. That's not as big of a project, but I just need a little better space to where I can get the boxes in and out from underneath and maybe even get a couple more boxes of comics in there too. The more you have in there, the better, right? So yeah, that's the remodel project. I need to get those done. It's something that I've wanted to do for long. I've just been putting out. I keep saying like, I'm doing good out there. Don't mess with things, but I think I can do better. And to do better this year, I think I'm gonna have to do that remodel and uh, get more product in there. So that's the goal uh, with that. Uh, let me show you a couple other things I'm taking out there today and then we'll wrap this video up. I know it'll end up being kind of a short one, but I got some cool stuff back here that I picked up. Check this out. Yeah, found this really cool Pokemon Poke Belt. Found it at a thrift store. I think they were priced like five or seven dollars, somewhere in that range, and uh, bought that one. So I'm gonna put this one in my booth for 20. That's about what they go for on eBay. It's about 20 bucks. At that same store, I picked this up. This little Squirtle uh, Mega Builders Mega Constructs. It's sort of like a Lego brand, or I mean a Lego copycat. But it's Squirtle. It's Pokemon. So that's gonna be 20 bucks as well. And the big cool thing, this one will draw, get some looks going in. Check this guy out. Yeah, I got King Kong. This is from like Skull Island. I think I like how he's got the battle damage across his chest there. This guy's pretty big. Look at him. Yeah, he's a big guy. I think I'm going to put this in my booth for, it's either 25 or 30. I got to double check what they're selling for on eBay, but they were pretty expensive. This is a pretty darn big Kong. And surprisingly, King Kong and Godzilla are still very collected characters. So I was happy to find this guy out there. Yeah, wave. So got all these guys going out here and uh, yeah, I got to get out there and get this video finished to you. So uh, I think that's it for today. Is that it? Yep. That's the video for today. Uh, all right. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, I did my what sold video over on my that card guy channel. I'm going to flip flop back and forth between that channel a little bit, especially when it's heavier cards and sports sales. I'll put my what sold video over, over there. So if you aren't subscribed to that channel, go over and do that. Now that card guy is just like that reseller guy, but just with card instead of reseller. All right. That's it. Thanks for blah, blah, blah. <laughs> All right. That's it. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.